Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for this edition of the NKU Sports Break. I'm your host, Tori Watkins. NKU men's basketball grabbed the top spot in the Horizon League over the weekend after picking up two home wins. Thursday night, the Norris returned home, facing Milwaukee, winning 54-52. The Norris continued their winning way Saturday, taking on Green Bay in a homecoming showdown, winning 86-80. I thought tonight was, uh, a few things stood out to me tonight. One was the individual performances of each and every person that was on the court. Um, so they stepped up and gave us something. I mean, I could point out the you know, Walton rebound was a phenomenal rebound, was big time. You know, Mesa Faulkner's first half was, was exceptional. Uh, you know, LeVon Holland taking over the last five minutes. Tyler Sharp, obviously, with the shot making. Carson Williams at the beginning of the second half, and what he brought to the game, to the table. But Jordan Garnett was all over the plate defensively, so was Tate. So uh, everybody gave us something. Coming up this week, the Norse will hit the road as they take on Wright State Friday night. Game time is set for 9 p.m. You can catch this game on ESPNU as well as listen, listen on the Fox Sport 1360. On the women's side, the Norse won both league games over the weekend, defeating Oakland on Thursday 66-59 and Detroit Mercy 64-60 on Saturday. The women are currently riding a three-game winning streak as they head into the home stretch of the regular season. Our team is growing and we are improving every day, um, and that's everybody, top to bottom. Everybody continues to work hard, so proud of our team. Um, I think it definitely gives us a big boost, and it's something we emphasize that we need to get over that hump and get to three. Um, going forward, I think we're just going to continue to work hard and continue to get better and try to keep building it up on it. The Norse will hit the road Saturday, traveling to Wright State. Tip-off is set for 2 p.m., and you can catch this game on ESPN3. In other action over the weekend, the men's tennis team picked up another win over Thomas Moore College Friday afternoon, winning 7-0. Coming up this week, the men will travel to the University of Dayton Saturday afternoon, and the women will host Belmont University Friday afternoon. Track and field were also in action at the Chipotle Invitational Friday and Saturday. Andrew Shilley added another win to his indoor season, winning the 3,000-meter run in a time of 8:17:38, Chuck and Field will travel to the Buckeye Tuna hosted by Ohio State University this weekend. Softball is gearing up Friday afternoon to take on Moorhead State University as they start the season at the Campbell University Tournament. And baseball hits the road for their season opener Friday at East Tennessee State University. I'm Tori Watkins. Thanks for watching the NKU Sports Break, and we'll see you next time.